What up, world? It's the one and only Pop DBIC, the primetime capper. Four Fanatics View, the national host, and I am with MMA legend, UFC legend, just a legend in general, Mr. Rashad Evans. How you doing today, brother? I'm blessed, man. Blessed and highly favored, man. I heard that. I heard that. So how's life been? Life has been good, man. It's been, uh, you know, it's been very interesting because, you know, being an athlete and then transitioning to the, the rest of my life was, it wasn't the easiest thing, but I mean, it was, uh, it, it, it was something that, you know, eventually was going to happen anyways, but it's been, it's been good though. I've always seen you. I'm not the biggest follower of UFC, but I've always been very intrigued by you because you were on the U. You was on the Ultimate Fighter. You know, you had your little beef with Rampage, and you actually went ahead and you know you handled that as well too. And I always thought you've always been the epitome of class when it comes to the UFC because they're always really rough and rugged and mad. But you was were always cool and calm. Where did you get that demeanor from? Uh, I would say my mom, man. My mom, my mom was always kept me, uh, kept me grounded. You know what I'm saying? She would always just kind of always instill in me, no matter how high it got. She'd be like, you know, hey, Rashad, 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 look, don't forget, like it can happen to you too, Rashad. So she always just kind of keep me just grounded and just always just, um, just humble, man. And you know, there, there's times where you know I, I got a little big head, and you know, life just brings you back down. But uh, I've always looked at just me being in a public spotlight and me just having even opportunity to do interviews like this is like, it's a blessing, man. Like if I can, you know, get on a mic or if I can take a picture or if I can, you know, sign an autograph to make somebody's day, then I'm with it, man. Because, you know, in this world, uh, joy is not the easiest thing to come by. So if you can give it to somebody in little doses, then it's the best thing in the world, man. That's some beautiful stuff to say because we are living in a world right now where a lot of people are always mad about something. You know, you look at the Internet, somebody mad about something, you know, and somebody did something that they they didn't like. So, you know, that's a beautiful uh, way to go about it. So when it comes down to this from what we really here for, for the Super Bowl, what, what do you see in this game that really stands out to you? You know, it, you know, you, we have two. Uh two really good quarterbacks, you know, and, and to highlight the quarterbacks is kind of, you know, it's one of the things that's going to bring people to watch it, but at the same time, you know, it's what these quarterbacks provide for the team because this is a team sport, right? So these quarterbacks are bringing out that, that extra oomph in, the, in their players, and that's what a good leader does is they, they, they bring out that, that other guy, and, uh, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see because, these quarterbacks are very inspired, inspiring. You know, Patrick Mahomes in his last game playing with a high ankle sprain, what it took to go through and, 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 and you know, compete the way that he did, it, it kind of uplifts the rest of the team because it's like, yo, if he's out here with a high ankle sprain, there's no reason why I can't do anything. Mm. So it just ele elevates everybody else's play, and it kind of carries that me mentality into the Super Bowl. Like, we're going to be hard-nosed and we're going to get it done. So it's going to be a great game. All right, prediction. Who do you like in the game? Um, I'm I'm going with KC, man. Okay. I'm a Finally, a, I'm a AF, I'm a AFC guy. Finally. I'm an AFC guy. You know, I'm a Buffalo Bills fan, but I Ooh, I got belief in the I AFC know, game. And uh, I think that, you know, I think that Mahomes got a little bit of magic in him, man. I think he's just like one of those guys who just finds a way to get it done, and and, and you know, it's it's incredible to see. Well, I know my man Walt got some questions for you, man. I know he's ready to jump on in here. I'm looking at him now. Been the first person to come to this table and say uh, Kansas City. Everybody's an Eagles <laughs> fan right here. You know, I'm from Dallas. I, I'm not with this uh, with this Eagles love. Speaking of Dallas, I had Dana White over here uh, yesterday, and I asked him about uh, UFC. You know, coming to Dallas and doing doing some fight. But they were in Dallas. Uh, yeah. Manny Nunez fought this summer. I went to check that out. Um, and he was talking about he calls it Dallas Texas Stadium <laughs> instead of AT and T Stadium. But it's fine. We'll get it. So. Um, <laughs> As, as far as fighting, um, who do you like right now? Because right now, I mean, personally, Amanda Nunes is my favorite uh, yeah. UFC fighter right okay, now. Okay, like, okay. I, I mean, after her, I just don't – I don't – I'm not going to say I don't like too many, but she's my top notch right here. I think she's going to retire with, like, the belt or something. Yeah, who's my favorite to watch? Uh, you know, I, I love to watch Kamara Usman. Okay, yeah. Kamara Usman is one of those mm. guys who, you know, he grew up, you know – he lived with me for the longest time. Really? Mm. Yeah, I brought him into the sport for the most part. He was my training partner for a long time, and uh, just just a really good um, 
really good person, but just to watch his evolution and growth and his mindset and really him becoming to what he has become in the UFC has been something spectacular. You know, I know he lost his last fight against Leon Edwards, but I feel like with these, it was a shock, but it's these moments. It's having a situation like that where you are highest of the high and then you have the fall. What do you do now? Because that's where the true fight's right. about. The fight isn't always about what happens in, inside the octagon. The fight is like what happens internally. And I feel like when when, when that call is answered, we're going to see Kamaru Usman uh, come March uh, become the new champion once again. So uh, Kamaru Usman is one. Uh, the style bender. I love to watch him fight, man. He's just fun to watch fight. And of course, uh, Jamal. I mean, uh, Jam Jamal Hill, man. Jamal Hill with the, with the way that he just. Um, Went out there and did his thing against Glover to share, and, and just a way that you didn't you didn't foresee happening. You know. Let me ask you this: How do you feel about the uh, like you seen some of your uh, UFC people go and fight the Paul brothers? Yeah. How do you feel about that Paul brothers thing? Honestly, you know, I, I feel like it's, it's low hanging fruit for them. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, the, the, the UFC fighters who they're selecting, they're, they're just kind of um, at a different stage of life. Right. You know, and and I don't want to call them unskilled or say that they suck, but I mean. You, what, what make, taking over for some reason. Yeah, what makes you a great fighter is is a little is a little is a recipe. You know, mm -hmm. a little bit of skill, a little right. bit of this, a little bit right. of that. But at the end of the day, it's it's how bad do you want it, right. Right? right? And when you're in that stage of life, it's how bad do they really want it? And at the end of the day, what they really want is is more security, which comes from finances and being able to make another check for them is is more important than than anything else. So I mean. I say it as low-hanging fruit, and I don't want to take anything away from the Paul brothers because at the end of the day, what they've done and what they've created, what they've been able to, to sketch out is, is absolutely phenomenal. They, they turned something, uh, you know, boxing into something a little bit different. Not saying that it's not boxing, but made it um, made it exciting again in, in a different kind of way. You right, know what I'm saying? They right. really niched out something for themselves in, in a really good way. So um, it, it's... it's uh, I got, I got respect for that. I, I think their pay per view their pay per view vibes are actually kind of higher than than like right because you bring in a whole brand new audience that follows you for something entirely different than boxing, but they just want to see a little spectacle. Just it's the same exact way Floyd used to sell it. They want to see you get beat. It's that yeah. simple, and that's exactly what they're selling. And that's a uh, it's a beautiful thing because boxing has needed that for a long time. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about Rousey in the WWE? Uh, man, I mean, I mean, I feel like uh, for, for for her, I feel it's been an amazing transition for her. You know, okay. what I mean, I feel like uh, you know Ronda Rousey was an amazing pioneer in, in the women's uh, UFC and really made it, really brought it to to such a level. You know, she didn't uh, end the career the way that she she wanted to, but she had such a high burn rate. I mean, the fact that she was such a bright light. You know what I'm saying? It's really hard for her to 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 really deal with and stomach some of the some of the things you got to stomach with as being a fighter like having a loss and having to find a way to reinvent yourself to come back and become a champion again so a lot of respect for a lot of respect for a transition to to, to wwe and a smart one at that now before i let you go i got a bill for you okay 69.95 uh oh because i ordered a fight <laughs> i ordered a you and rampage fight and i thought you two were gonna kill each other and nobody yeah. died so nobody died <laughs> somebody's still alive so, both y'all still alive uh, i was man. wondering can i get some of it back man <laughs> man <laughs> fight to the death <laughs> yeah. i thought i, mean, I had an ultimate fighter you two was just y'all ripping doors off look, i was I mean, like oh listen, man these was gonna rip each other apart listen, it, it was almost like that i mean it listen it was it started like that in the first first few seconds of the round where I caught him, and then at the end of the fight where he caught me with a uh, with a punch and kind of had me down, look like he was about to finish me. But you did, you guys just so entertained all on the Ultimate Fight, like you were just picking with him so oh so bad. God. I mean, we, you were trying everything hey, to get it, under his skin. I mean, you were, man, he, I respect how you didn't back down from. You was going at him on the man, Ultimate Fighter. He was a bully, man. Yeah, he, he was. was he was man. a bully, man. He he'll try to come in and bully me, and I'm listening. I'm not gonna let some dude just raise his leg on me like I'm supposed to be scared of him. Like, you believe just like me, man. You ain't gonna just talk to me any kind of way. We my, gotta, my, we gotta handle that. My favorite part was uh, when he first got there. He was like, "Oh, I'm taking uh, what was it, Kimbo?" Yeah, and yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. And you was like, "Okay, you can take yeah. him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't get him. Go ahead. Yeah, man. yeah. Worry about him? Yeah, but I mean, we did a skill assessment. We was just like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you can have him. No. No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. When you said that, I was like, wow. <laughs> and you know what's funny? I said, he knows something. And I'll be yeah. done when he fought, uh, what was it, Big uh, Big, big country. country. Big Country. Big Country. Big Country. Big Country. Put that body on him. 
and that was it. He, you didn't hear him no more. You know, after, as crazy as it sounds, I had more heavyweights chomping at the bit to fight Kimbo, and I had to, and I had to hold them all back. I had them all, yeah, I had, every 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 time there was a fight, they'd be like, oh, "I want to fight Kimbo, I want to fight Kimbo," because wow. they thought it was the weakest link. Well. I got one last question for you. It was a great, it was a uh, historic moment last night. How do you feel about LeBron James uh, breaking the NBA uh, scoring record? I mean, I think it's phenomenal. I mean, when you when you look at a guy like LeBron James, man, like you know, he's such a he's such a a good leader, such mm-hmm. a good a, a good role model. Because mm-hmm. like you have a guy in LeBron who's been a star since he's been 13 years old and really you know touted to be that. And to not falter under the lights, not falter in, in, in a way that leads to embarrassment to himself or to his family or to, you know, destroy his career in any kind of way. For me, he has that respect, you know, all day. And then on top of it, to go out there and perform the way that he has consistently, season after season, at such a high level is unbelievable. I mean, he's been, like, what, 17 seasons in the mm. NBA right now? Mm. It's, it's just unbelievable. More than that. It, it, 18 or 19, if I'm if I'm if I'm correct. And, and see, and and that just goes to show, like I mean, he's he, he's doing it. He's doing it right. I mean, he, he does it right. He's got he, he's got he's got something to, to really pass down to these young players, just about knowledge of self and how to conduct mm-hmm. themselves and just how to be in general. Man, I have nothing to respect for. Go. That's just it's beautiful stuff with LeBron. I know a lot of people have their 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 ain'ts and can'ts with him. But at the end of the day, he's such a positive person, such a positive role model. And really, a lot of these players are really are, you know, following his lead right now, and they're all showing out to be pretty good guys. So you were talking about LeBron. Go. Yeah, he got to be. He Thank got, you. He got to be the go. Look, I love MJ, and I think that MJ um, is, is incredible and unbelievable. But what makes me say LeBron is a goal is because – I feel his impact more yes. outside yes. of the game. Talk you know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like that's that something camera, that right? that's something that <laughs> Michael Jordan <laughs> rarely ever stepped into. You know what I'm saying? Like Michael, Michael made his impact. You know, has done his thing. But you haven't really, you don't know how Michael jo- Michael Jordan feel about anything. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know Michael Jordan. All you know is his shoes keep, yeah. keep re-releasing. You know, and everybody goes to the mall and buy. You knew we, we we knew he could play basketball. We knew he can sell shoes, but I don't know anything else about Michael Jordan. I don't either. I don't even know what he liked to eat. Yeah, I don't, I don't know none of that. And I feel like LeBron has been a better overall person when it comes for all of that. You know? I know one thing. I know he don't like take you don't like uh, you take a picture of him down in the parking lot of the uh, arena with little kids riding by on their bicycle. So that I do know about Michael Jordan on on that aspect. Hey, I'm going to tell you like this. You know how much money Michael uh, Jordan's worth, and you know what happened to his daddy. So you know, you know, you know. You can't play with nobody. You can't, you can't trust nothing that's coming around you because you Michael We're Jordan. We're talking like Kanye West right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know. Well, thank you, thank you for joining you guys, us today, man. Oh, uh, man, thank you for having me. I appreciate you, man. And you guys already know what time it is. We got, we got, my, we got the man. He's the GOAT. This is a legend right here with us, man. And um, you guys already know, it's Pop DiBiase signing out for Fanatics View.